so I think I'm going to explore making some more coasters today. So let's do a set in some harvest colors. So maybe some browns and greens mixed together and we'll see how those work out. All right, thanks All right, for watching. So today I'm getting ready to do a set of coasters with resin and pearl X powders. Now the pearl X powders come in a powder form in pots like this. I bought a set of them and I, I bought these at a hobby store that was going out of business. And then I am incorporating them with my resin to make these beautiful coasters. Now I can't, you can't see off to the side, but I have a golden pair, um, a red set, a purple set, and a black set. So I'm attempting to do a green set now, a little bit of green and gold. And I've just mixed up this brown that looks it's called Aurora, so I'm not quite sure what it's going to mix up like, but it, it it's almost like a reddish brown. Beautiful. I'm just trying all these different pigments. It's one of the ways that I can incorporate this into my art by using the powdered pigments. I've learned that when you use these, you must mix them really, really well. You see, you just put a scoop or two of your powder down on top of your resin and then you just mix it in so this one is evergreen it's also a metallic I'll mix that in a little bit more but look how beautiful that shine is on that and then I'm also going to use gold as the, the next layer So just a little bit so this one's going to be going to be a little bit more transparent and then in the center I think I'm going to use these tube glitter now uh, this tube glitter I get from the dollar store it comes in a multi-pack that looks something like this tube confetti just one dollar at the dollar store I'm going to use gold on this one just because my one of my layers is gold so let me finish mixing these up and I'll get back with you while we pour, and then we'll pour. Now I've put the tube glitter down in with a little bit of clear resin. It does tend to fly around if you don't do that. Some of the glitters I can just sprinkle on, but this is one of the ways that I can know that I'm going to get it pretty much where I want it. All right, I'm going to start with this Aurora on the outside. You know, it's kind of a purple. I'm not quite sure I want to use that. But we'll see how that works. Let me put a scoop of brown in that. That might be an interesting mix of colors because this Aurora turned out to be a little bit purplish, purplish brown. So we'll see what surprises we get with this set of coasters. All right, so I like to pinch the end, pour it as close to the edge as I can. And then go from coaster to coaster, see which see what I need next. This one's getting ready to drip. We don't want no no drips.
So I'm going to finish by putting some gold glitter in the center. Remember, this is the tube glitter that I get from the dollar store. So I'm just going to clump that in there, and then I'm going to come back and flatten it out. And then I will bring you in. We'll look at these once they have totally dried. The outside edge. But let's take these babies out of their mold. And I see some of the green shrunk back toward the middle. And the darker color around the edge stayed. But on the top surface, we've got green around the edge. These are fabulous. Wow. Very beautiful autumn colors. Let me take this one out. Oh, this one is beautiful too. Look at the coppery glitter right there. A little gold. So let me know what you think in the comments. These have turned out fabulous. Alright, thank you for watching.